Okay, we will continue. It is no longer in that word. Where the fuck is it? What's the next episode? <laughs> oh, I'm done. That's right there. Shinjiku. Most of the students who are part of the mob either have taken a leave of absence from school or have begun canceling sessions. The number of students deeply disturbed to learn that they are capable of such actions is quite significant. Nobody was more shocked by, by me than me. <laughs> I'll say. It's all water in the ridge, I say. No, we'll never forgive those dirty, dirty mobs. Honestly, I would not never go back to school if that happened to me. <laughs> For real. <laughs> we had every right to just not go to school after that and also go to therapy. Well, we kind of already experienced apocalypse before with uh, the warmongers and other several apocalypses with every chapter beforehand with the genociders and the, the other guilds and all that. So we're just like, pfft, whatever at this point. But what you were just talking about runs way deeper than brainwashing. Brainwashing ain't gonna cut it if you're trying to explain about digital copy, digital posture, and all that. You know, for someone whose test papers require more reading than a failing business, that's a rather astute of you, Kenko. Can you shut the fuck up? I've been pretty smart these past few chapters. As my creator once told me, all creation begins with destruction. The only true path to making something new is to tear apart the old with logic in order to obtain the needed materials. Turing will indeed destroy you with facts and logic. Oh no, it's not Topic Eyes! <laughs> I wonder if Hadi has killed Gabriel in one of the loops. What would he do after that? He would probably do the Fortnite dance. I have called you over especially for this, Ryota. I have a request for you. Uh, of course. Anything I can do to help, I will. Yes, I'm well aware of that from the Ryota dungeon story. It was quite fucked up. All the while, his overwhelming love attaches itself to the rain droplets and falls into Tokyo by the way of the clouds that now blanket the entire city. It is that kind of fluid raining out. <laughs> oh no, all of Wakantonka's love all over her bodies and face. I'm not opposed to that end. Oh, of his homeland, of course. Oh, oh, memories of, <laughs> of Raiders of the Lost Isle. Kanan as well. Oh! <laughs> God, this is so good. I read that story. I know the significance, and I know why this encounter is so important. Oh my gosh, he has too much HP. No. Move all my buffs. Um, but oh, he's out of combat. They're all out of combat. <laughs> okay, sure, if you say so. <laughs> Oh my god. How long is this gonna last? Nine hundred five dollars. Alright, let's do this one by one then. Oh, Tea party madness. My, my, you've certainly grown your circle of friends in the time since I last saw you. I can't help but feel left out. Ooh, he's in trouble. Can you kill your old friend, Sanat Kamara? Of course. I'll take care of her. I'm laying in Chi right now. Oh no, Lian and Chi air is over. The ego is faltering, merging with all other life. I do believe I warned you earlier that you must maintain a firm grip on your self-awareness here, no? Firmly grasp it. What? You have Arthur? Wow, we are quite severely outnumbered. Even using stealths? There's like no way the two of us can break through this. Sacrifice Tarotama. I don't like it, Qatar of the Wind, but I will do as you say. Let us break through this barrier. Bigfoot's just like, ah! <laughs> Without saying anything about what just happened. <laughs> you three cuties, okay? Oh, it's a close one. Uh, who are you? And more to the point, why do you look like an orange version of a Kia? But there are so many friends of ours out there somewhere. They're all probably having a really tough time. And it's not just the here Gong we can't get a hold of, but Lian and Shi, and Arithan, and so many others. K 
kid. I have no idea who those kids are, so maybe you should slow down. No, no, I'm not friends with him. You aren't? But it also doesn't matter whether it's a friend or a hated enemy. I'll rescue anyone in need of a hand. Job. Why ask your name, please? Akia Gong never really said. Uh, I haven't earned the privilege of making my name known just yet, really. Or rather, I don't want to after healing all the slander about me. Jeez, people call me Guy Fieri or Johnny Test. Well, let's go, my werewolf czar. We must provide all the aid we can to our comrade in arms, Temujin. As you command, Lord Perrin, my emperor. Every time we see Temujin, we see his ass getting up. It's kind of funny. If I wasn't sick, missing a pillar, sent to fight people I struggle with, and more, I wouldn't be getting my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, he seems to have a lot of excuses. Hmm, Bigfoot. You said you had a favor to ask us, I believe. Could you perhaps have been referring to? Bigfoot, tell everything. Everything about Wakantanka. Everything about World of Great Spirit. In exchange, you do favor. You do what Bigfoot ask. You let Bigfoot give foot job. Do you think Bigfoot wants his toe sucked? Sorry, that, that was an intrusive thought. I probably shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> we were given more guiding questions by uh, Turing about the nature of our identity as it persists through loops. Turing has pretty much just showed up. W would you be interested in learning about philosophical quandaries? <laughs> that has been pretty much his entire existence so far. It's kind of bizarre. Unfortunately, without my creator, I can only postpone the inevitable. I can't track the enemy to its source, though it wouldn't do much good even if I could, as I'm not made for offensive warfare. You see, life is designed me, so I couldn't take any buffs. What? That's stupid! Ain't your crater kinda... Ah, uh, tight with the invaders, though? And wouldn't that make fighting with us the act of a traitor? Looking a little sus there, Denegma. You really brought that meme back from the dead. Unfortunately, that means I will be in the range. Okay, he's strong enough, as expected. Although, unfortunately, that's not strong enough to get rid of Turing, exactly. Please fail to roll. No! No! What is that? How did he even get evasion? Oh no, he's removing buffs! The fuck is this shit? Jesus Christ! No! No! Fucking Turing. Okay, let's redo that shit. The problem was there was just like mm, a tiny bit of damage left over. That's so stupid. Like both times it was just like a tiny bit left over. That's so fucking stupid. So fucking pointless. Why? Why was it just like two centimeters away from doing enough damage before? That's so stupid. You have taken full control of your body by force of numbers. Your resistance is futile. We are trapped here. You and I both. So you insist, but I cannot simply abandon my hero in this hour of need. And so you insist. I understand well you mean to atone for the children you've sent to the hopeless battlefield. So the wolf that is with Terran is the embodiment of the two walls and No, no. Yes. Cave is over steep. Stop that. You just all range but this stuff. Right. I forgot he had that. Stop that. Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, it's a survival quest! Oh my fucking god, I didn't even realize. Like, give me a warning, jeez. Okay, you just got the situation perfectly. Yeah. This shit's so patently unfair. Guts, 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 guts. Okay, yeah. This is. This. The end. I. I don't. Huh? Oh my god, a Cheeto! He's relevant again! Rejoice, Hakenshi stands. Rejoice. He died for your sins, only to show up again finally after all this time. I hope they wouldn't have to leave the safe house, but there's no choice anymore. As long as they keep to the shadows. He'll be caught instantly. Oh my god, it's Dio! How was he found instantly? Jesus. Leaks, your brain is expanding. Brain! Who the devil are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I 
elite guild master of the Rokpongi Tycoons, and I have a message for you. You're what? A general guild master? <laughs> Get wrecked! The guild master of the invaders seems almost recklessly confident in his information processing capabilities. Oh, not disrespect intended, of course. I dare say that he has a broader view of Tokyo than anyone else. But Bleak's brain is bigger! Brain's bigger! Friendship is the best power of friendship. I am no soldier waving a sword about on the battlefield, nor am I a diplomat making friends and forging alliances. What I am is a provocateur. I turn my enemies against each other. Hmm, and I'm quite good at it, if I do say so myself. As we saw in chapter 8, let's go! OG 5 star Eric, let's go! Go, my lord. Your loyal hound shall see to it that the path is clear. That is not how you hold a sword, Tadatomo, but sure. Within the countless loops, Tangoro bears witness to the use he brought with him from the L. Eyes glimmering with hope for the future. Falling and failing again and again. Long ago, he took the mantle of the current Tongaro upon himself and desperately sought to carve hope from the hopelessness that loomed before him. He truly thought he could do it. He told himself he could make it work. But it was all little more than delusions of grandeur. There was much too much sorrow to work with, and the hopelessness simply overwhelmed the All-Father Tangaroa, filling his bosom to bursting. The straw that broke the camel's back, however, was when he'd personally sent the one with whom he'd formed the bond of fate off to certain doom. All that remains now is anger, rage, the desire to send this rotten city down to the very bottom to see where it belongs. Jesus Christ. For he knows that somewhere within him there once existed emotions other than hatred. I'm gonna say one thing right here. Every appearance of Tangaro in the events so far, I always thought he was kind of a bit too boring and plain and just generally very fatherly but without any recourse for complexity. Maybe what's happening here is that really was just a sign of naivete. And <laughs> what we're seeing here is just everything being turned upside down when it's completely ruined. All your simple beliefs of hope just shattered because of reality coming slamming down on you there is only sinking to the bottom of the sea never to be seen again alongside one's own foolish ideals man that's so messed up the fuck it's like, oh god, Raiders of the Lost Isle was supposed to have a happy ending. This one's saying, nope, it's a just a giant, fuck you, it's a giant farce, it was all ruined. God damn it. <laughs> it was all just idealism in the end, and things didn't work out. Yeah, that's so sad. These events are supposed to be happy things. And you know, they're supposed to end happy. They're not supposed to be just the beginning of something fucked up that shows that it was just a mistake to believe in hope in the first place. Genia, we believe we know what's on your mind. We've become ever more aware of it over time. You're concerned that your rule and role inherited from Zeus may be exerting control over us, right? <sighs> Ordinarily, we indeed may have some difficulty determining if we speak from the heart or from the effects of your rule. Hmm. But as you may recall, there is an overarching directive in this game that states no rule may directly override another of like effects. Which means, if we are being controlled by you, intentionally or not, Perrin shouldn't have been able to brainwash us. Oh! Oh! That's nice evidence! Oh my god, that's so sweet! <laughs> Oh, Shinya must be so happy to do that. I, I should have figured that too. Oh, 
This is nice. Every single time they showed up in past loops, you always saw that doubt from Shinya about how they tried to reassure him. But this is 100% definitive proof that their friendship was genuine. True friendship and true love in the case of Kanki. For real. Ah, oh, that's so sweet! <laughs> my god, I love this. So I truly believe we've been by your side all this time entirely by choice. And we're happy to be back. Thank you for saving us. Tower of Mighty. Kalki. Oh, <laughs> That's so sweet! 